Luna has done it again and over the past week has hit brand new all time highs even after the Bitcoin crash that happened a couple of weeks back. Today we're going to be taking a look at it, performing some technical analysis and making some price predictions on where we can expect to see Luna go in the near future. Let's get into it. How's it going guys, Ryan here and welcome back to another crypto video. We're taking a look at the Luna coin again today and as you would have just heard, we are now hitting once again all time highs which is absolutely fantastic and it has by far been one of the best performing coins over the past week. But before we look into the analysis of that today, please remember to leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy today's video and if you want to see more of this sort of content hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications we cover crypto stocks wealth management and investing i'd also love to know your thoughts on luna and the terra blockchain that it sits on down in the comment section below but without any further ado, let's jump into the computer and start today's analysis. Welcome into the Luna chart today, guys. If you're looking to buy Luna or want some free Bitcoin, there's a couple of links down in the comment section below where you can do exactly that. But let's take a look at the Luna chart. And as you can see, we have smashed once again our all time highs and made some brand new ones. I'll just zoom out a bit more so you can see really where we've come from. For Luna, this has been an absolutely phenomenal year and considering what occurred over the past week or so just down here where Bitcoin crashed, this is fantastic. That high was right here and we're talking at about $44.54 US where we peaked. We're currently sitting at $36.44 US which is, I suppose, right about where we hit our previous all-time highs only just a couple of weeks prior. But let's put in place some real key points of support and resistance for us going forward and if we can really work out if there's any sort of patterns that are going to indicate what way we'll be moving in the future. Now, first and foremost, let's try and put in a support floor now. I think our current support floor is actually where we hit today at roughly $36. And whilst not much price action has occurred, this has been a point of resistance in the past for Luna. And you can see that once again, it has bounced off that point. So right on $36 is where I'm putting that key point. Where's our point of resistance? Well, quite clearly, it looks like that point of resistance is probably just about here at $43.54, had three days worth of candles touch roughly about that point. So I think it's fairly logical to assess that this will be our next point of resistance. Now, what's going on from, I suppose, the past week is potentially a flag pattern. So I'll chuck this in place. You can see the flag has established a pole in this sort of a fashion. And with that pole, you can see that the flag has started to potentially form. Now, whilst it's, I suppose, quite hard to tell exactly how the flag is forming due to the lack of days, I suppose, when it comes to uh, the data, you can see that a flag is certainly forming to some capacity on this point. The base of our flag is that support point. The peak is roughly the, I suppose, all time high where we were sitting. And you can see that we've consolidated downwards over the past day and we are sitting right at the tip now. We're going to either break up out of it or down through the support point over the next few days. And I suppose what we can also look at is this volume here. It's dropped. The sell-off has come from, I suppose, low volume compared to when all the buying was coming. So potentially this might be a buy indicator for traders or investors looking to get into Luna the breaking of this key point right here. Now, what else can we, I suppose, establish? Have we got a long-term trend still in play from a, I suppose, point towards the later half of July, so the 21st of July, where we started, you know, establishing a nice bit of a trend, perhaps? Let's just try and plug something in here. Hmm, 
Maybe, maybe not. I don't think we can really establish a trading channel at this point in time, even, I suppose, moving it to that point. Even so, no, I don't think, I think we're uptrending, but I don't think there's a clear trading channel that we're in at this point in time. Although happy to uh, hear otherwise if you want to let me know down in the comments section below. But let's take a look at a few more indicators which could help us assess exactly where we're going over the next couple of days. So I'm going to bring in our standard moving averages. So the short term 20 day moving average, our medium term 50 day moving average, which I'll make red just so it stands out. And of course, finally, our longer term 200 day moving average in the yellow. You can see that's not really going to come into play at the moment. It's quite far down. Similarly, the 50 day is still quite low. There hasn't been any price points touching it. The key point for us is this 20 day moving average at the moment, and it's coming up and acting as support. Whilst yes, it did not touch uh, the candle yesterday when we hit the low point of the wick on that, it is going to be acting as a key point of support for us. And I would imagine that over the next few days, especially if we start to move upwards, this 20 day moving average will come to roughly this point at $36 US and be a real strong point of support for us, pending all goes well. Overall, looking very good from a moving average perspective. And just for those of you listening and not looking at the screen, our 20 day moving average is at $33.55, 50 days at $24.73, and our 200 days at $14.63. So plenty going on right now and much, much of a variance between them, a lot of variance. So let's bring in another indicator, MACD. Let's see if that's turned around a little bit for us. And as you can see, <laughs> it turned around sharply. You can see that obviously on the 9th of September here, we were still moving downwards, but then quite literally within the space of 24 to 48 hours, we jumped and we crossed back over from the red points that we were seeing previously into the green, which is quite phenomenal. It was quite a large spike and something we haven't seen in many of the other cryptos. Now, Luna seems to really be doing its own thing and not dictated by Bitcoin like much of the rest of the market. So that's overall pretty good for us. Whilst yes, we've had a bit of a red day here, the green days weren't massive. Keep that in mind, we're, I suppose, crossing back over, but I think we're gonna see potentially a bounce off that longer term trend and start seeing that blue line, the short term trend move upwards again. So overall, not looking too bad still at this point in time. But what this is showing me is once again, we are at crunch time on the MACD down here as well. And of course, on the actual chart itself. Now, if we bring in our final indicator as well, the relative strength index or the RSI, let's just grab that one right now. Here we go. As you can see, we've got the RSI sitting right here. I'll just close that window, apologies. And you can see that we are now back in a comfortable trading range. So overall, not looking too bad from that perspective. Currently, the RSI is sitting at a value of 58.36. And considering that we've had extended periods of time in the overbought range previously, this is really quite primed. We did on that massive day hit 71.63, just slightly in the overbought section, but it quickly came back down over the past four days due to the price action which had occurred. But we have cooled off now and we have plenty of room for a run. So what is my price prediction for today's video? Well, my price prediction is quite simple. It is going to be this point here, $43.54 roughly. That is our key point of resistance. And I really think in the next week, if we see some big buying volume starting to come in, that can be achieved. So it would probably be in this sort of a manner. I wouldn't expect one big spike upwards I think just due to the fact that we saw that previously, it might be a bit similar to this area here where we saw a few candles worth go up, 
towards that point. I'm just being a bit more conservative, I suppose, from that perspective. Now, whilst I am bullish on Luna at the moment, if we were to fail, and if we were to drop, where would we drop to? Well, I think one of our big points of support next is obviously going to be the 20 day moving average, which we saw before. But if that does fail from, I suppose, a perspective of price action that has occurred, this point here at $31.51 or $31.50 is going to be a key point of support for us as well. So we've had plenty of price action which has occurred over the past few days, which is able to hold up this coin's value for us. But overall, it is looking very good for Luna. As you can see, compared to many other cryptos at the moment, Luna is looking very, very strong, especially after the dip we saw from Bitcoin crashing over the past week or so. I'd love to know your thoughts on Luna and the Terra blockchain down in the comments section below. Are you bullish on it like I am, or are you bearish for a short period or a long period of time potentially? Let us know down in the comments section. And of course, if you did enjoy today's video, remember to leave a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. We cover crypto, investing, stocks, and wealth management. But I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.